I'm here with Suresh Vikantraman of Micron. Uh, last time we talked at Photokina, you talked to us a little bit about some CMOS sensors that you had coming, but we weren't able to talk completely about them. So what can you tell me more about them today? So at Photokina, we had sampled and we were showing some of the prototypes of our uh, next generation CMOS uh, sensors. Um, we showed you a prototype of an 8 megapixel. Right. And at this show, what we're showing is a bunch of reference designs, um, uh, work with, that we have done with our industry partners to bring the technology that we showed there um, and how we can take this to the market. Uh, we're also announcing the um, mass production availability of the 8 megapixel uh, sensor. Um, the sensor itself has pretty um, you know, high capabilities, high speed, uh, high definition video uh, capabilities. Typically you find in um, products in the high end like the DSLRs or very high end uh, digital camcorders. Mm -hmm. The 8 megapixel can shoot in excess of 10 frames a second and also do a high definition video. Uh, what we have done now is to work with industry partners, uh, DSP manufacturers, um, and lens manufacturers to bring complete reference designs that camera manufacturers can use uh, to bring the technology to the market. Um, for example, uh, we worked with TI um, with the DaVinci platform uh, to um, you know, show a reference design where you can shoot full 8 megapixel in excess of 5 frames per second um, and also can do HD video. Uh, we also announced a couple of other sensors, um, a high definition version of our 5 megapixel and another high definition sensor which is the world's smallest um, high definition sensor. Um, what we're trying to do here is um, as explosion of televisions, high definition televisions start to increase, uh, people are noticing that standard definition video when they show it up on their, put it up on their high definition is really not looking very good. Mm -hmm. um, the processing the television is not sophisticated. Um, so high definition is something that is brings all that advantages of high definition televisions that you know people can enjoy with their camcorders as well. So we designed um, the uh, sensors for um, very um, uh, cost effective, um, very compact palm sized camcorders uh, that people can use to shoot high definition video as well. So is Micron providing the software that we needed for that or? Uh, Micron is providing the sensors. We're working with industry partners to put the entire solutions together. Uh, in fact, we're showing it at Kino where you can see the comparison between the high definition and standard definition and how that makes a difference. Um, we're bringing full solutions to the market, working with partners, of course. Um, and we feel high definition is something that people are going to have more and more um, need for. You know, people have high definition monitors for the computer screens, high definition televisions. All this is driving uh, HD content significantly. And you were also talking about high speed as well. Um, the high speed capability is something that CMOS sensors typically, you know, are have a huge advantage of. Mm -hmm. um, they've been used in high end products um, like uh, DSLRs. Um, what high speed does for consumers is basically they're able to capture the moment. Um, they can shoot a bunch of pictures in a burst mode mm -hmm. at a very high rate, and they can, you know, keep the best shot or have an action shot of of of, of an event. Um, so CMOS technology has inherent advantages. Uh, Micron's uh, strength and innovations in the past, we have brought all that technologies as well to the um, uh, sensors. Our 8 megapixel sensor, for example, can burst 10 frames a second. And our HD video, which needs 60 frames per second, takes advantage of this technology as well. So most cameras today on the market are using CCD still, digi cameras. Right. They use CCDs. You know, they're shot to shot performance, typically one or uh, two seconds. Um, they, you know, they've brought that down a little bit. But when it actually comes to very high speed burst mode, CMOS technology has definitely um, a big advantage. And what we see this is as, um, as the high speed on still photography starts to increase, and there you start to see the blurring of a video and photography experience. Right, exactly. Where you're able to shoot very high uh, resolution pictures at video rates, uh -huh. and you know you can essentially have you know think about an eight megapixel that runs at 60 frames per second. Hmm. Um, in fact, a Micron has built a sensor um, working with NHK in Japan. Uh, where we developed an 8 megapixel, 60 frames per second, and they used it to demonstrate where they think the next generation uh, video technology is going for applications like digital cinema um, or, you know, even, some, even something beyond. Um, and so the technology that Micron has developed, and we feel that the consumers can really enjoy mm -hmm. and, you know, bring a much more pleasant uh, experience to photography with some of these features. So is there, do you have to deal with a little bit more noise issues or anything like that? Is that something still noise, has to be worked on? Noise is, de is definitely an issue as you start to shrink the pixels yeah. and increase the frame rate. And of course, Micron is um, investing a significant amount of uh, resources and um, technology in, uh, to bring, how do you, you know, into, into a semiconductor manufacturing process as well to make the pixels smaller while at the same time keeping the noise levels um, 
getting good, very good signal to noise performance, um, and at the same time, you know, bringing the rich colors as well, which is a challenge as you start to reduce, reduce the pixel size. So this is going to we're going to see this. People start boasting about, hey, this is a Digicam with a CMOS sensor in it, and you can capture high-speed video that you could turn into high-speed stills, perhaps. Right, exactly. And you can think about you can have a series of high-speed stills, and you can print the shot that you want, um, or you can just you know play it in a video mode. Um, the other thing is just increase the retention rate of people taking pictures of events. A lot of times people take pictures and are not satisfied. You know, maybe 10, 15, today maybe 30% of the pictures are something that they feel the keepers. Uh, with something like this, you know, you don't have to worry about it. And, right. you, and you can definitely find the shot that you, you wanted. Um, you can build intelligence into the camera to say pick the best shot or you can, you know, manually pick it. So definitely all these are advantages. So how far away do you think this is from appearing in the next digital camera, you know, digital camera? I think we're, you know, just a few, uh, you know, year, less than a few years away. Um, you know, Micron has sampled the sensor. Uh, so the sensor itself is starting to be used in digital cameras now. Um, being the high speed is just a matter of time. You know, with the, uh, uh, with the reference platforms we announced here, you can see we've gotten the five, six frames per second, um, you know, uh, performance. And the HD video uh, also becoming part of the um, uh, digital still camera. You know, for example, the 8-megapixel sensor can shoot 2 megapixels at 30 frames per second. Right. So with at 2 megapixels, you can print, still print 4 by 6 prints Absolutely. and, um, you know, pretty, get a pretty good picture. So you can already see some of this in the cameras, uh, you know, this year, but it'll only improve as, um, you know, as time goes by. That's great. Thank you. So this is kind of a look at the future technology for uh, digital cameras. Yeah, this is take a look at the future, plus you, know, you can already start to see some of that in the near future. Great. Thanks very much. Thank you.